So you mentioned you went to a performing arts school, right? For I went college? to Florida School of the Arts in Palatka, Florida, a one light town in northern Florida. And you and your guidance counselor chose that? She found that for me. That's I, great. I went to a state competition for drama club. Oh, wow. And then there, because I was in Tampa, my school was recruiting my Florida School of the Arts, and I was able there to uh, audition. Oh, f- So I didn't perfect. have to have my dad drive me to the college or any right, of the other yeah, things yeah. I probably couldn't have pulled teeth to get done. Right. But because I was already going on this field trip with my... Um, uh, you know, that's a big lesson in general for me as far as luck when they say opportunity meeting preparation. And right. I was putting myself in a position. I was already going to the place where they were auditioning because yeah, yeah. I was so involved in whatever I could be involved in right. in my craft. And I think that that carried on to my professional life. You know, even something simple as doing ASCAT. It's like for, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm paying for two Ubers to go do ASCAT. I'm not getting paid to do ASCAT. Right. And I'm going there and I'm giving time and I'm encouraging friends to come and like, because that's part of what's going to lead me into a room with, Absolutely. Uh, with uh, or some place that I need to be for the next whatever. Yeah. And, and even if the next whatever, um, quote unquote, is like a new fan, you know, it's just right, like totally. just going in constantly. Yeah. Or a podcast. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, what did you uh, what was your audition for or what w- what audition did you do? What scene? I did like two monologues. I don't remember what they were from. And uh, um, after, and it went well, though. It went really well. Uh Actually, I did have one really good monologue. I remember I there was a monologue from it was like from Playboy these Playboy writings, okay. And it was like really funny, and it had it, it was basically this. I, I could do it. It's like it's really short. It's like do twenty it. seconds, but I replaced all of the really American names with like Italian names. <laughs> I don't even know if I still remember it, but it was something like. Um, Ever since I was a kid, I didn't want to be me. I wanted to be Tommy Falzoni. I walk like he walked. I talk like he talked. I even signed up for the same high school he signed up for, which is when I started noting that Tommy Falzoni started acting a little weird. He started hanging around Mikey Amendola. He walked like Mikey Amendola. He talked like Mikey Amendola, and he mixed me up. I began walking and talking like Tommy Falzoni, walking and talking like Mikey Amendola. And then it dawned on me that Mikey Amendola sort of walks and talks a lot like Joey Mazzola, and Joey Mazzola walks and talks a lot like Danny Durazio. So here I am, walking and talking like Tommy Falzoni's impression of Mikey Amendola's version of Joey Mazzola, walking and talking like Danny DiRazio. And do you know who that little bastard walks and talks like? Of all people, Jerky Jerry Sacconi, that little freaking moron that walks and talks like me. Woo! <laughs> You're in. I, I was That's in. Great. <laughs> I was in. That's great. Yeah. So uh, is this school just eight to five? You're basically taking classes on oh, man. theory it was like, and To me, I never saw it like for that? a degree. I, first of all, I thought that my high school diploma like didn't matter. Like I was like, I ju- like to be honest, I was like, I never wanted a college degree. I used it like boot camp. Right. I double majored in acting and musical theater. And I would do stuff. Like, this is so bad. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> but I would do stuff. I would, I would do stuff like I, you know, I took basic tap, but then my, and, and acting one. But then my second year, acting two was the same time as tap one, so I failed basic tap. So the following year, I could retake basic tap just to continue tapping. <laughs> Because I, the the next class, the next level of the course interrupted my acting course, right? So I was like strategizing on just how to get the most training. That's great. Yeah, and then um, uh, I did. Uh, it was like an eight to five though, because it, was it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then eight to five for most people. But then I also had uh, the Glee Club, which is like the musical theater ensemble oh, nice. yeah. that I was in and I got cast in. And then wow. after that, I was in rehearsal for whatever the main stage show was. Wow. You're just so, absorbing it. Again, and no homework. <laughs> <laughs> You're just cutting your teeth. Are you auditioning at all outside of school or are you just There wasn't much school? going on, but I still was. I was teaching like a little, a little theater camp there. You know, oh, and good doing, for you. I tried to do community theater at first and I was going to not... Again, just like in, I, some people were like, we're not going to audition for the first show this season. Yeah. And so I backed off and my teacher was like, I'm a little disappointed because I had my eye on you for certain things and you didn't uh, even audition. And don't hang out with the wrong crowd. And it was kind of another lesson for me to sort of just keep going for it. You right, know, yeah. I was scared, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, then I was in every, you know, all the plays and I did really well. And then it started getting too good, you know. Like uh, my professor was kind of like, you know, we're looking at doing this thing next year and you might be right for the lead. And the lead was like an 85 year old man. And I was like, what am I? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm 19, (laughs) you know, I was like, I either need to like change schools or start working or whatever. 